Happy Saturday. How's it going? Just finished my cardio. Um, I did, what did I do today? Uh, I, was, I was actually planning to go to Lifetime and do some killer um, intervals on the treadmill and do kind of like a, a equipment whore move where you go from treadmill to the stairs. I don't do Stairmaster, I do those movable stairs, which I have to be honest with you, before I worked with Jay, my trainer, I used to look at those things and go, that's so stupid. You know, and I was like, why did they make a second stair machine? Stairmasters are so out. Yeah, until I got on one of those and I realized that can be such a killer workout, which is why when Jay is competing, he spends so much time on there for fat loss. Just saying. So what I think I'm gonna do, um, tomorrow's my day off, but I think the next cardio day, well also Valerie is gonna be probably tweaking my workouts uh, starting next week because I'm finishing up week three, which I have very happy results to share in a second. Um, but, oh, it's a lawnmower outside. Um, we'll see. I, what I like is uh, if you're going to do like a killer hit session or intervals, whatever you want to call it, all these things overlap. Um, Tabata, hit, interval, you know. I should really look up and kind of define the difference for you guys. Not that I'm quite sure on it. I know what, like when I'm doing Tabata, I know what it is. I think Tabata is a set time. I think it's always 20 minutes work, 20 minutes rest, 20 seconds. I could be wrong. I'm delirious right now. I just finished cardio, as you can see. Um, but all I did was Kathy's HIT workout, which is about the actual workout is at 20 minutes, and then you've got, um, I'm getting ready to do my cool down. Five minutes of a warm up, five minutes of a cool down. So it's a 30 minute total workout, but I wanted to come shoot this really quick, quickly, excuse me, um, to tell you a couple things. Number one, fail to plan, plan to fail. I got into about three minutes of the workout and realized whoa, that I hadn't taken my uh, pro sculpt yet, and this is supposed to be taken before your workouts. And the thing is, guys, um, I've come to learn about things, supplementation. It's not that one thing, there, there's no pill or, you know, thing you can put in your drink that's going to all of a sudden, oh, wow, you know, I just lost five pounds today. That's not how it works. However, the totality of everything, the more that I'm talking to some of these people that really understand the science behind all of this, it's all about just like working out and diet. It's all about consistency in what you do. And if you're not, you know, it's kind of like, um, it, I never used to understand when I was younger, if I would get prescribed antibiotics, you know, you'd feel better after four days and so I would stop taking it. And people used to go, you can't stop taking antibiotics, you take the full course. I'm like, I don't get it, I feel better. But it's a specific dosage of medicine. And there's a reason why they have you take it over a certain amount of time. I think about, I'm trying to think of, uh, what was one of the last times where I had to take, oh, it was uh, when I had the whooping cough and you took, I don't even know what it was, if it's, if it's a, a steroid or if it was whatever it was, but you had to take four the first day, three the next day, two the next day. There's a method behind the madness. It's not just a bunch of doctors going, let's see how much we can totally screw up her day and seeing if she remembers this. No, take it as planned. So, you know, what I do, I've gotten in the habit now that I'm, taking my vitamins and my supplements, and I also have to remember to take my prescription, my um, hormonal stuff every day, is you've gotta make habits. And I'm still finishing up that book on habits, but um, what I do is now I've gotten rid of the, um, two more weeks, I'm getting to that in a minute. I've gotten rid of um, taking, I don't take Excedrin PM every night to go to bed, um, but I do take melatonin, which works like a charm. Um, and I will say, here's the good thing about melatonin. Not only do I fall asleep um, without feeling as groggy and disgusting, but um, I, I'm like with the Excedrin PM, I definitely had a tendency to kind of uh, want to sleep longer and then I was really tired. I'm not one of those people. I need my sleep, but if I get too much sleep, it, it's just as bad as not enough sleep. With the melatonin, I sleep exactly like seven and a half hours. It's exactly what I need. So that's the good thing. But I take my melatonin at night and I leave it out by my kitchen sink. So then that way, when I wake up, I look at that, I take my melatonin, put it in the cabinet, and then I bring out my vitamins, which is right now, I'm doing multivitamin um, from GNC. I take a, a thing, it's a combo from Trader Joe's. It has zinc, magnesium, and calcium in it. So take that, and then I have fish oil, um, and then I have the pill part of this, which is the Mega at night. I take all of these before four because they do have caffeine in it. And this is the other thing I do. This says three times a day. 
my anti-androgen pills are also three times a day. So I take, when I start in the morning, I take my first one, then I turn them upside down. After I take my second one, I lie them on the side. When I'm finished, they go away. It's magic. You have to do little things because otherwise, if you have a full brain like mine, you won't remember it. Um, but anyway, if you fail to lay things out, you won't take them in the right time. So fail to plan, plan to fail. Also, wrapping up week three of uh, Val's Bikini Body Express, I have lost, and I'm going to measure again on Monday because we'll see, um, but I took my measurements yesterday, is that right? No, I took my measurements on Thursday, and I have lost a full inch on my waist and a full inch on my thighs, um, and then I'll measure, because that day I was just, I don't know why I felt like my waist was smaller and I was just curious to see if I had budged another half an inch, so I only measured my waist and my thighs, but um, We'll see what the totality is as far as, you know, the arms, you measure into the chest, everything. Um, but I'm very, very excited because you guys know, number one, the area where it's been hardest for me to lose the weight um, is where I gained it um, with this whole perimenopause thing, an area where I never had weight before, all in my, in my tummy and my core. So um, being able to see that they're, they're making progress there is amazing. I had, I definitely could tell as we were going along that my legs were getting thinner. And... I'm not complaining about that, but um, I was like, golly, you know, I feel like it's getting thinner here, right underneath the bra line was getting thinner, but then that area where I wanted to really see it, and you can't control how your body loses weight, so. I can't tell if that's a lawnmower or a child, so what do you have? Um, that's the good news there, and then the other good news is I'm actually going today. My friend moved into a new house yesterday, so I'm going over to get her, um, rescue all of her moving supplies from her so that I can start packing up my house because it looks like I could be moving in two weeks. Praise God. Thank you so much. Um, and that said, that kind of brings me full circle, believe it or not, to the point I started seven minutes ago, which is this. As you can see, I just finished my workout, right? I was getting ready, and it's Saturday. I technically have no commitments. I run my own company so I can work when I want, stop when I want. Y'all know my problem has been stopping. But here's the deal. I started to get myself, at first I was like, my plan was, before I knew I was going over to Miranda's house, my plan was, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna do my, my cardio thing that I just told you. And then I started talking to my mom, and, I, and then I started planning out going over to Miranda's house and all this, and I start going, oh, gosh, if I go to the gym, it's going to be this, and then it's going to be this, and then I'll be, you know, by the time I get home, by the time I do this, then I'm going to waste this much time. And so I started getting all flustered and, and like, oh, I don't want to do that. And then I thought, oh, well, maybe I'll just do a quick one. Maybe I'll just do. And so this whole ridiculous thing of mine, which is letting life get in the way of a freaking half an hour workout. You know, I literally had to like smack talk myself and go, Kelly, put in a damn DVD. If you're not going to go to the gym, you will get your workout done before you go and leave this house, period. It's not that difficult. Stop making it that much of a big deal. Put in the DVD and here it is. It's done. And now it's early in the morning. I'm going to grab my shower and go. And, and once you really, really get in the habit, it becomes easier to have those conversations. You know, it still is really gosh, only a couple of months that I've been back into consistency, but the more you're consistent, the easier it is to make smarter decisions. I went to a, a, a business lunch yesterday and we went to Houlihan's. You know how easy it was for me to just, you know, and, and I looked and they have this amazing dessert, which is those little donut holes and you dip them in caramel. Okay, people, I could smother myself in those and eat them all night. But I think about that and then I think about putting my jeans on and not having to worry about muffin top. That appeals to me a little bit more than shoving sugar in my mouth. So I had a salad. I got the steak salad. I got the blue cheese dressing on the side. I got extra beets. Please shut up. Can you hear that? Okay, I need to go take some heroin. Just kidding. See, someone watches my videos and then they actually don't get my sense of humor and they'll write me a note and go, Kelly, I'm worried about your drug habit. I don't even know where you would buy heroin. I don't even know what it looks like or how you take it. I think you take it. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to be a bad influence on people. You guys have a good day. Get your workout in. Drink your water. And I will talk to you tomorrow.